Hi, this is Kamash. I work for ITAcademy.in. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to work with the cache transformation in SQL Server Integration Services. To explain your cache transformation, let me take you back to the, the earlier project that I used in my previous video for the lookup transformation. So before why why we should use cache transformation? What is the what are the major problems with the lookup transformation in the sense? In this package, what, what is happening, uh, it is searching for the product ID in the sales order detail and then it is trying to match it with the product ID in the product stable and then it hits SQL Server every now and then. So for every record, it looks into the SQL Server databases physically and thus it affects the performance of the package execution. Instead, what I would like to do, all the records of my lookup table, I would like to load it into cache so that uh, the lookup transformation actually looks for the matching records uh, with the records in the cache memory rather than hitting the SQL Server database every now and then. So that's the basic difference between using a cache transformation and not using a cache transformation. To explain this, let me go ahead and try to create a new SSIS package and uh, I'll try to rename this package as cache transformation demo.ddsx and say OK. So I'm in the control flow. Let me drag and drop the data flow task and then double click on the data flow task. I'm taking an OLEDB source and also I'm taking a cache transform. So this OLEDB source will be speaking to my Adventure XLT 2008 database and then it will be speaking to my lookup table called as product. And in the column section, I'm only interested in four fields of information and I say OK. So this OLEDB source, I'm trying to connect to the cache transform. And when I double click on the cache transform, this is the time I need to create a new connection manager of cache connection manager. So I click on new. So you can give a better name to the cache connection manager and then you have to go into the columns and then you have to make the index of the field based on which you are trying to establish the relationship between these two data sets that should be to one and say you're okay. And then in the mappings, if you can see uh, the mappings are already been done for you. So you're basically trying to select these four fields from the lookup table. So you're okay. So what has happened till now, if I really test this package now, all the records from the product table all the records from the product stable will now you know get loaded into the cache so because of this so initially when you test this package the loading itself might take some time so you might find some slow in the execution of the package initially because the data is actually getting loaded into the cache but just for the subsequent times everything will be okay now to continue this, let me have another data flow task and connect the first data flow task with the second one. So I can double click on the second data flow task and I do the same thing what I did with the lookup transformation now. I've got my OLEDB source and um, I also have got my lookup transformation and my destination as um, Excel. This time I'm double clicking on my OLEDB source and then I'm speaking to my sales order detail table my transaction table and then in the columns I'm only interested in the first four fields or five fields so you're okay. Now this is the nice thing here so this is sales order detail rows now I connect my green line to my lookup transformation so when I double click on the lookup transformation the beauty here is previously I was using OLEDB connection manager that means I'll be speaking to the SQL Server database and then the respective table. Instead, this time I'm pointing to the cache connection manager which has already been created here for you. And then I go to the connection and then already the cache connection manager has been shown for you because there's only one cache connection manager for you. It's been automatically shown otherwise I would have actually selected from this drop down list. So okay. And then in the columns you can see I have to link between the product ID to the product ID and then and I'm trying to get these data of name, product number and color from my lookup table which is the products in our case. So you're okay. Now connect your lookup transformation finally to the Excel destination. Obviously 
I'm going for the lookup match output records. What doesn't match, we are not really interested in this demonstration. Only what matches should go to the Excel destination. Okay. And finally, create an Excel file. So I will choose my file as cache output and I say okay. I'll leave this first row as column names. I create a new Excel sheet now because currently I don't have sheets in the new Excel file. I say new and you can notice here these five fields are coming from the sales order detail and these three fields are coming from the products table. So you okay and select the Excel sheet that is not ending with the dollar sign. And then in the mappings you can see everything is ready basically. So what's the advantage of this way of doing? If you see the, the, what I did in this data flow is pretty similar to what I did in the lookup transformation absolutely. But the only difference in the lookup transformation, the lookup is actually an OLEDB connection manager speaking to product stable physically. Wherein in the cache transformation, the lookup is actually using a cache connection manager and that is actually speaking to my cache connection manager. So that is the basic difference between using a cache connection manager and then a normal OLEDB connection manager. Also there is an important point here, it's tough for me to explain the differences between all these three different cache modes in 15 minutes but uh, let me give you some important points here. In case if I select the full cache which is a default cache mode is full cache. That means all the records from my products table will be loaded into the cache right at the beginning of the package execution. And that's the reason you might find a bit slow your package running for the first time because everything is getting loaded into the cache. So, but you know the next request will be very fast. If you do not like your package to take more time in the, in the, in the beginning of the execution of the package and then you can go for the partial cache then package runs pretty fastly even for the first time. So then what happens, whatever records it processes as and when it finds a matching record, only those records will be put into the cache. So you know if I, may, there might be some 10 to 15 partial caches which, which might be equivalent to one full cache. Of course we never make the cache mode as no cache, that means we don't use cache transformation at all. So I'll leave this full cache as it is. And um, of course the, uh, let me click on cancel one more time, come back to the look app. This is using the cache connection manager. This is using the cache connection manager. The columns are pretty much there. So okay, so almost we are ready to test our package. And now when I test this package, so all the 542 records have gone to the Excel destination, but it's pr pretty tough to prove on the screen uh, that there's a performance, um, you know, improvement to in the, by using the cache transformation on a live database with huge number of records you will see considerable difference in terms of package execution when you use the cache transformation. Obviously when I take you to the cache output XLS file that has got um, all the data what is expected from my uh, both the tables of sales order detail and then the product table. These five fields are coming from the sales order detail and these three fields are coming from the products table. So that's how cache transformation uh, helps you to load all the records into the cache at the beginning of the package itself, package execution, so that uh, whenever lookup transformation has to look for the matching product IDs, it just deals with the cache connection manager rather than it speaks to the SQL Server database. That's how cache transformation is a very useful transformation. Thanks for watching. If you wish, if you wish to buy full-length videos of MSBI, Please visit our website itacademy.in and we will be able to assist you on that. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and bye bye.